مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear students of grade 9, I welcome you once again. Today, inshallah, we are going to talk about module 8, all the action. Listen D, writing, page 91. Our objectives today are to identify the parts of a game review with 80% accuracy and to write a game review with 70% accuracy. Before we start our lesson, let's watch the following video and then discuss it together. Pathway is a turn-based strategy roguelite in which you take a handful of 1930s adventurers across Nazi-infested Europe and Middle Eastern deserts. Each adventure is randomly generated, giving you an end location and several nodes of events you'll experience as you make your way there. Five separate adventures add different possibilities and new enemies. The developer of Robotality boasts more than 400 unique events, but I was seeing duplicates as early as my second playthrough. A good number of the events are roundabout ways of telling you there's nothing there. In one of the few longer scenarios, one of my characters ended up with a status ailment, which just felt like an unwarranted punishment for wanting to get more from the story. Each of the 16 characters are recognizable as hokey adventurer stereotypes. There are brazen tough guys, nerdy scientists, and slick con artists who each offer unique strengths and weaknesses. You'll select two characters at the outset, and on certain adventures you'll be able to recruit up to two others along the way. Each character has unique skills, enabling them to equip specific items or advance certain story events. To reach these events, you traverse nodes on the map, which uses fuel, so plotting a path that stops by a trader or exploring enough to find more is just as crucial to success as winning fights. The turn-based combat of Pathway will be familiar to any fans of the genre. Since the characters mostly use firearms, you'll move your team between cover trying to outflank enemies before they can do the same to you. Enemy AI is smart. They'll take advantage of weakened or out of position characters or retreat if they're outmatched, which makes it frustrating that you can't preview a character's attack range without first committing to movement. On more than one occasion, I'd reach a cover point only to find a bit of architecture blocking my shot. Also, the pseudo 3D environments means that enemies can sometimes be hidden by tall structures just by standing on the north sides of them and I sometimes struggle to target them despite having a clear line of sight. Getting KO'd in a fight will send your character to the hospital, and unless you're able to camp, they'll be gone for the rest of the adventure. Losing your entire team results in a hard restart. Fortunately, experience and gear earned carries over to the next trip, so while the difficulty can seem pretty extreme for the initial adventure, it evens out over time. The game does provide difficulty sliders in the form of adding more starting fuel or ammo, you can even lower enemy health several percent to ease into the challenge of this beautiful 2D world. Using a combination of pixel art and voxel technology, Pathway generates really impressive 16-bit environments, enhanced by lighting and shadow effects. Watching the day turn into night and back again really puts the background art on full display. The sprites for the characters and enemies, however, are less impressive. Fans of the turn-based RPG genre will find depth and challenge to dig into with Pathway but the lackluster, randomly generated stories likely won't keep your interest if you're not already interested. The game is available for PC, Mac, and Linux. So, dear students, what was the video about? And the answer is, the video was about a game review. Now, let's move to exercise B. Read the game review and answer the questions. Four. Right. Desert Farmer. Computer Game Review by Zoe Winters. Desert Farmer is a free online game which came out last year. It is set in a dry area of Africa and focuses on what it is like to be a farmer in the developing world. It is an educational and very original game which teaches players strategy. Also, it helps them to understand what life is like for people, and what problems they have in these areas. Gamers begin with £50, a piece of land, and a family, a husband and wife, and two children. Every year, decisions are made about whether to use the land to grow crops or keep animals. They also have to decide how to spend the money, who is going to help on the farm, and how, etc. Unfortunately, 
Many of the problems that real farmers may face, such as illnesses, lack of water, and serious financial problems, are also experienced. They need to have a strategy to manage the farm, and they have to change their strategy in order to survive. I really enjoyed playing the game, and I found the problems I had to face and the decision-making quite interesting. The computer graphics were impressive, and the situations felt very realistic. It is a fun and simple simulation game, which I recommend for all the family. Now, let's answer the questions. Number one, what kind of information is included in the first paragraph? And the answer is, some general information about the game, title and type. Number two, in which paragraph does the writer describe how the game is played? The answer is, in the second paragraph. Number three, what tense does the writer use to describe how the game is played? The answer is, in the present simple. Question four, did the writer like the game? The answer is, yes, she did. Question five, in which paragraph does the writer express her opinion? The answer is, in the third and final paragraph. Question six, what kind of language does the writer use? Formal, neutral, or informal? To give some example. The answer is neutral. For example, Desert Farmer is a free online game. It is an educational and very original game. They also have to decide how to spend the money. Now let's move to exercise C. Read the plan and the phrases 1 to 5 below in which part do they belong? Write the phrase in the plan. Number one, I was very disappointed by the game. This is an opinion, so this phrase is in the conclusion. Number two, check it out. Also, this phrase can be found in the conclusion. Three, the new edition came out. That you can find it. You can find it in the introduction. Number four, gamers must fly the plane through cloudy skies and stormy weather. This phrase can be found in the main part. And finally, number five, it's suitable for children and adults. This phrase can be found in the conclusion as well. Now, dear students, you can write these phrases from one to five in their appropriate places. And now, let's move to exercise D. Write a review of a game you have recently played and know well, or a review of the game you discussed on the speak activity on page 90. Follow the plan. Go to the workbook page 88. And here we have some tips. Remember to use the present symbol to describe how the game is played. Don't include too many details and don't reveal the ending. Use a variety of adjectives to make it more interesting. Use the present symbol or the past symbol to make comments and give your opinion. Use neutral language, neither formal nor informal. For example, factual rather than emotional. Limited use of complex language or slang. Now, let's move to page 88 in the workbook. These are the questions we are going to answer before writing our game review. What is the name of the game? What type of game is it? When did it come out? This will be in the introduction. For the main part, we have... For the main part, we have... What's the plot of the game? And how is the game played? And for the conclusion, what's your general opinion of the game? And do you recommend it? Why or why not? And now, let's have a look at this model answer of writing a game review. Tennis World Tour is a single-player game from 2018. 
The goal is to beat lots of famous players to become world number one. And although it mostly involves playing tennis, it has other features involving strategy as well. Now we are going to start in the main part. You begin by choosing a coach. Then you do training sessions to get more points. You also have to choose which competitions to enter. You can play against 30 of the world's best players, including Roger Federer and Caroline Wozniacki. Special technology was used to record the movements of these players on different surfaces. And you play against them in competitions all over the world. Now for the conclusion. Overall, though, Tennis World Tour is disappointing. The graphics are so unrealistic that sometimes the ball still returns to your opponent even though you didn't hit it. Also, you cannot change your coach despite the fact that it says you can. In short, I don't recommend it. And by this, dear students, we have come to the end of our session for today. Until we meet next time, I say... السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية